This is 252 Pop Fiction, where you'll find all the news and reviews in pop culture that's right to type. Today's top story. After it was revealed, he had joined the team putting together a revival of the classic sci-fi series Buck Rogers. George Clooney may be going to outer space once again. Ah, you know what? He's already been to outer space in that movie. Gravity. Uh, Gravity. That was yeah. a great one. Oscar but was he winner. out of space or was he just in her mind that he was there, but he wasn't? But I guess he uh, was. He, he was there. He was there he, in the beginning, died. yes. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh, if you haven't seen Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we're spoiling seen, a lot of stuff. Uh, I put this in for one of those things. I was a Buck Rogers fan. The was it Gil Gerard? Yes, Gil Gerard and, and Evan, Evan Aaron, 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 Aaron Anderson, Andrews? Andrew, Aaron Andrews, Aaron, Aaron Andrews. That sounds right, but Aaron it may Andrews. not be Tweaky and uh, Tweaky. I don't know. That was Tweaky, right? Yeah. And he had the other robot that was just a head. And then yes. it was War as a necklace. And right. what was See, the, before Flavor Flav, you had Tweaky. Yeah. <laughs> and there was that guy with the hawk head, right? Yeah, he yeah. was from Bonanza. Uh, <laughs> what was his name? Right? I, don't I don't remember. I can't remember. Sound either. like three old guys. He was the, he was the father yeah. from Bonanza. <laughs> but and he played the. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking Battlestar Galactica. Am I? Lauren Green. Lauren Green, he wasn't in Buck Rogers? No, no. Lauren he was, Green was, Ad, he was... Well, those shows are interchangeable. Adam they Man. are. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's other guy. I think he was like Mexican or something. Oh, I don't but know. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Buck Rogers. But I was like... And I remember Duck Dodgers in the 25th and a half century. century. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> of all the SNL season premiere sketches, nothing was... Funnier than watching Machine Gun Kelly and Pete Davidson falling off the stage at the end of the episode. I missed it. Yeah, I, I watched do. the episode. Right. You know, right at the end when everybody goes up and they're all saying, yeah. and they're, so real quick, it's mm-hmm. like, it's like, uh, Machine Gun Kelly goes to grab like Pete Davidson and kind of like I guess in his head he was, he was gonna him grab him by the legs and like throw him over his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> but when he grabbed yeah. him, they flew off the side. Of the oh side. man, who, I gotta who, watch that. Who? Pete Davidson is a cast member on SNL, and oh. Machine Gun Kelly is a rapper, rapper. slash musician, actor, uh, musician slash yeah. actor. Did not see it. I, uh, I haven't watched SNL in a long time. Yeah. Mad TV. Oh, yeah. Big I, fan of Mad TV. I love Mad TV. I'm sorry to die now. Yeah, do. All right. Black Panther director Ryan Coogler has been signed by Disney to a five year overall TV contract. It is a spin off of his MCU film, which will concentrate on the Kingdom of Wakanda. Ooh. Yeah, so they're basically giving Coogler the keys to. Wakanda. There's been a lot of rumors coming out about what they're going to do with Black Panther now, mm-hmm. and and such. So it's just like I've been hearing a lot of grumblings. People want his sister to take yeah. up the mantle, but like she did in the comics. Yep. And oh. and they're saying that they want to bring back Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger and yeah. bring him oh, back. And no, it is Marvel. The whole right, this week's review. <laughs> Uh, was supposed to be one night in Miami, but apparently I forgot to hit save. And um, so this week's review is 69. <laughs> Daniel Hernandez saga. I think I've talked about this already. Um, well, all right, let's not talk about it. Yeah, that was it was trash. I mean, no, it was good. It was actually it was, no. Was, all right, no. you know what I'm gonna say. All right, so no, that was good. So the Daniel Hernandez saga was a documentary on Hulu about. Uh, controversial rapper Takashi Six Nine. Uh, JP, just, do you know who that is? I have no, no idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hugely successful and widely uh, provocative rapper features interviews with several people close to the subject. His neighbors, his longtime girlfriend, uh, even his uh, chauffeur. Um, the thing is, he was a troll. He was he was he was he was a he was an internet troll, and he he would feed on the worst things. And do it, and he got all caught up, and he went to he he tried to create. It. They showed basically he was just a little boy playing gangster. Gangster got all caught up, and when he went to prison, he 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 <laughs> he sung like a and everything, <laughs> and and he's out. Um, anyway, 
That's it, bad. It's a, it's a, it's a good. Uh, um, I messed up. I went to talk about the Regina uh, yeah. King uh, one night in Miami, which I saw. It's okay. I haven't seen that either. Oh, it's actually very good. It just dropped uh, good about a couple it. weeks ago. Oh, uh, which uh, service? Uh, okay. Amazon Prime. Oh, it's a story. It's a it's a, fi- it's a fictional story about one night in Miami. Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown. Um, Based on a play, Malcolm X and um, did you say Jim Brown? Uh, yeah, Sam Cook. Sam Cook. Yeah, there you go. We're all in my musician, NBA. actor, and two wow. athletes. Yeah, and it was, no, it was great. A musician, two athletes, and a uh, an activist. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, that's an actor. I thought you yeah. about Jim, Jim Brown. Brown did <laughs> oh no, yeah, he did. At the time, he was an uh, he was also an activist. This week, uh, JB remembers. This week. <laughs> This week, I remember the Hawk and Dove. First appeared in Showcase 75. Uh, Hank and Don Hall, two brothers, grew up, uh, did not get along. One was very athletic. The other is more intellectual, mm. into philosophy and debates. Others into sports. Their father's a judge. The judge uh, is nearly killed by a bomb. And they decide to hardy boy it up and uh, go investigate how who is after their father. Mm-hmm. And that's when they get trapped. There's a bomb set for them, and they hear a voice from beyond that says, you could be a force to fight injustice if they simply say their names, Hawk and Dove. Mm. They would transform. Hawk would become super, uh, he'd gain super strength, whereas the Dove more like super dexterity. And they would fight crime, which they did for some time until they joined the Teen Titans. Mm. And ultimately, the duo was broken up by Crisis on Infinite Earths when the Dove was killed. Ooh. So, that's what I remember this week, the Hawk and Dove. Oh, wow. Uh, I, re- I did watch Titans. Mm-hmm. And it was funny because they did show, they showed a little bit about the origin. It started mm-hmm. out where Hawk was I think he was playing sports and he had a brother and I think they were foster brothers because mm-hmm. Hawk was white and the brother was black mm-hmm. but he was not a black and got killed and he, yeah he, he got killed but it was it was um the way they did it it was weird because they Dove had ended Dove, up being a woman Dove was this woman Love she was like a like a ballerina and it just happened to be uh, Frank and or Hank, Hank and Dove, Hank and well, Dove. but it was Hank and his brother who was Dove was walking on the street, and then Dove and her mom was walking on the street, and they kind of was talking to each other real briefly, and all of a sudden there was a horrific uh, car accident, mm-hmm. and they came right at them because they were on the sidewalk, mm-hmm. and so Dove's mom and Hank's brother died right there, and so then they became um they were going to the like uh, grief counseling mm-hmm. and they were grief counseling like they were in it together but the only way that they really could um get rid of their grief was to go out to sleep and, together and fight crime well that came <laughs> actually she was sleeping with robin first no right uh, a lot of people and accused then, the original mm-hmm. hawk and dove being, no, being gay, gay lovers they were brothers they were not gay lovers they could still be that <laughs> that would be a very odd storyline. I don't know, you know. It'd be a anyway country one. Uh, this yeah. week, Ralphie D recommends. <laughs> we are just killing it on this. One. The little things. <laughs> Deputy Sheriff Joe Deacon, played by Denzel Washington, joins forces with Sergeant Jim Baxter, played by uh, Remy Malik. Re- Remy Malik, hunt for uh, terrorized Los Angeles. Wait, what? <laughs> Joins forces with Sergeant Jim Baxter to hunt for a terrorized Los Angeles, a Los Angeles killer who could. Uh, I don't hunt for a terrorized Los Angeles serial killer. Baxter is unaware that the investigation is dredging up echoes of Deke's history as they pursue the culprit, uncovering disturbing. <laughs> 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 there was a hell of a lot on that page. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Wow. I remember putting it. I was like, where the fuck is it? I'm saying. 
You got to learn how to format this. <laughs> Shut up, man. I did. Something happened. I'm, re- <laughs> I'm recommending this movie because everyone <laughs> should see it. And, I watched uh, this movie. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. I mean, I wanted to like it, and I was waiting for something to happen, and I was like, come yeah. on, this is this is." I, I mean, heard the first two acts. I haven't seen it the yet. First two the acts first two acts were great, gripping. and then it, it, it fell apart. The, the, the very end had a twist, though, that was... Almost redeemed. It was almost a good twist. Almost redeemed. It it was still like nothing's happening here. Yeah. You know? Well, I also said, well, here's my question. Because we were talking about, we talked about that. We also were talking, this is obviously before the show, we were talking about uh, Wonder Woman 84. And I was saying, I wonder if we're watching these movies now without being in a cinema, without being in a theater. There's something about the movie going experience, I believe. It crap is crap. Look. Yeah, I couldn't save that movie. <laughs> well sometimes I wasn't even yeah. looking at my phone at all. Phone down. No, no, I I, I, I I know what you're saying. I think that enhances a good movie like when I saw Guardians Watch of the Galaxy for the first time and they formed the net. Yeah, and everybody got chills. Yeah, everybody you know, you know yeah. that. I was like, yeah. you're starting to and But the, it was already a good movie. The theater there people are cheering or right, something right, like right. that and you feel good. You feel that energy in the room. You there know? would be no energy in either one of those movies. Yeah, that, that movie kinda of sucks the life out of you. Like, is it over yet? The actors were I know, great. I know yeah. uh, Denzel Washington said he wouldn't mess with Jared Leto and none of that. You keep that stupid <laughs> stuff <laughs> to yourself. To yourself. You method act in your other own trailer. <laughs> anyway. That's funny. That's us putting words in his mouth. Maybe yeah, they're cool. Like that. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm Ralphie D and that's news to me. I'm Cool Water Kurt. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. We'd like to hear what you think. Leave us a comment down below and let your opinion be heard. And if you like this video, please check out other videos on our channel like Get Into Character and our brand new show, Hella Trades. I'm JB. I'd like to say we got more flavor than fruit striped gum. Woo! And this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you hear it first. First try. First try. Hey, the new year. That. New year, new me. Yeah. Oh, I see that. Ah, uh, uh, daughter, pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together.